1978, Swiss symphonic rock band Flame Dream released their debut album, Colladia, and from it, the track Gate to Colladia. <laughs> Okay, so far, uh, faint volume, but we've got that little sparkly keyboard and that woodwind coming out over it and some cymbal. Like... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's really tricky. Though. I love the jerky propulsion of this and the kind of like swaying back and. Okay, just like a variation, a modulation of what we were hearing in the beginning, except now on, on keyboard, now on. Oh, the way that Mellotron just came in and rose up like that, that choral Mellotron. God, the way that the, the bass and that like pipey um, synth are interacting and... Yeah, the way the bass is like accenting certain notes like... have taken a lot of like rehearsals for, for each of them to get their 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 parts together without being distracted by what the other was playing. I love the way the rhythm section is interacting with the melody. Don't I, I, I and the moment I the moment I pause it I can't even conjure it up in my head. It has to be heard to be believed. Not much uh, detail is given on Discogs about the actual make and model of the keyboards used. But... Now we got a different sound, kind of, oh, um, how do I characterize that? It's, it's a little bit trebly. It's... Actually, it kind of sounds a bit like a woodwind of sorts. The, the, the drumming is, is like kind of giving us like some snare in there. Can, can just this unique pattern. This. Yeah, some rolls here, those. Now those sounds right there are kind of like, uh, like on that pollen record from Quebec. Yeah. Very uh, like Star Castle like harmonies. Actually, come to think of it, Star Castle would have been quite envious of this arrangement. Yeah, because uh, Star Castle would, would have these like squire esque. Squire Anderson like harmonies with um, those really crisp staccato bass figures like interacting in this really kind of jerky, convoluted, odd metric counterpoint with the drumming. And you would have like the, the real tonal clarity of instrumentation. I forgot there were lyrics to this one. I don't uh, reckon that they are printed anywhere, but vocals on this album are by Peter Wolf, I guess is the main. And for a minute, I, I was thinking of the Austrian Peter Wolf, you know, of um, 
of Gypsy Love, and later of um, Wolf and Wolf Vienna. The guy who who um, later kind of became a a West Coast uh, producer. But uh, no, this is a third Peter Wolf, and it's definitely not the Jay Giles guy. <laughs> Okay, we've got through quite a few sections already, but notice how uh, some elements of the track have remained consistent throughout. If it's not one thing, it's another. It's it, it's like you're dun dun. That that's a modulated variation of what we were hearing earlier. Now this truly is different. This is a, a moment that hasn't uh, been that we haven't heard so far. A break we haven't heard so far. Yeah, those like open cadence, like like one big like strum at the st to sound off each bar. Oh, I like how it suddenly went all jittery, closed cadence. A bit of a new wavy, frantic, nervy vibe here in that guitar. I like that trade-off between I uh, like that that really driving kind of ding ding ding, ding and, and then it gets jerky, you know, goes goes from being kind of like a breeze along to being sort of Yeah, it's kinda of like jerk and then hop. Notice how the guitarist is playing like these like sustained kind of lyrical leads over over um, what is otherwise pretty much just a bunch of staccato fills of different instruments. I oh, appreciate that little flute uh, twirling around. Yeah, that's uh, Peter Wolf uh, with that flute. Yeah, Peter Wolf handles uh, woodwinds. Um, I, I should introduce some of these other guys we've been hearing. Uh, keyboards are played by Roland uh, Ruckstall. And uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know if any of these p guitars are played by Urs Waldisball. Um, and this appears to be his only, this album is his only, I guess he was replaced after this album. And another Urs. Um, um, Hotchuli on bass, and uh, oh, and drums, Peter Fur. I guess none of these guys did anything outside of Flame Dream. Huh. <laughs> Okay, now we uh, a new uh, uh, the next section is starting to emerge. It's trying to uh, fight things away from this part we're in right here. Yeah, that right there. I didn't think it was going to segue right back into this so quickly and, and easily. Hearing it, uh, hearing this uh, recapitulate to what we were hearing in the beginning, it, it it gives it more of like an epic feel. Like uh, I thought they were they were just kind of taking too many bridges too far to really get get back to this so easily. <laughs> Woodwinds takes o takes over from that keyboard sound, like with a variation of the melody, just in a different key. Okay, a different uh, arrangement of notes, but uh, the same cadence. Oh, 
well, I appreciate those drum rolls and the fullness of the drum sound too. Really, uh, the acoustics are, are just immaculate for this. And I must also uh, comment that uh, for like 1978, it seems that, that, that in 1978, those Swiss recordings were finally getting more clear and just nuanced. And because um, I noticed that a lot of uh, those Swiss rock and like psych albums from the earlier part of the decade tended to have a real murky sound to them. I'm thinking of bands like After Sh Aftershave, Fafner, um, yeah, a whole the whole lot of like uh, of like Swiss bands from like the 1970 to 1972 era. Yeah, Def. Yeah. Oh, look, I I love that sound. Just that it's it's getting a little bit more tweaked, right? As we. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that was um, Gate to um, Catalia by uh, Flame Dream from the album... Uh, oh, no. Gate to uh, Caladia. Sorry. Yeah, from the album Caladia by Flame Dream. Their first of, I think, five albums released between... Let's see. Yeah, uh, they uh, had... In some media, this is, these days anyway, being cited as a 1979 release along with their second album although most media up uh, traditionally i've seen it attributed as a 1978 release yeah um released oh well four albums between 1980 and 1982 anyway yeah that the last i th those are the ones i know about anyway and i guess a couple of more two further albums up through 1986 yes and um uh, really, the uh, the nation uh, Switzerland's chief exponent of the mature symphonic rock style, as opposed to the the rougher like psych uh, psychedelic hard rock recordings that came out from that nation earlier in the decade. Yeah. Um, anyway. For more rubies and sapphires from the catalog of Flame Dream, see the directory of albums by artists from landlocked Europe. Uh, linked in the description below. Yeah, I uh, that was the best description, I, the best grouping I could think of for Switzerland and Austria. Yeah, together. Yeah, both those together. So, uh, album, uh, ba um, albums by artists from Switzerland and Austria, about 150 titles. Yeah, uh, including all the artists that I mentioned. Here. Yeah. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and share the video on the music uh, discussion forums and such. And leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the track we just heard the layers, the interplay, the intricacy, uh, the nuances, the sounds, the soloing, the lyrics, even. Yeah. And until next time, this is Zaragon, the world's most ear traveled trimaximalist, signing off.